Hello guys and welcome back to another episode on chemistry and of course today we are going to conclude our study on alkenes. Okay and today we are going to looking at the uses, the uses of alkenes. Okay, remember our kings are called what? Olefins. Olefins. All right? Take note of that. They are called what? Olefins. Okay? Our kings are called paraffins. Okay? Paraffins. Our kings are called olefins. While what? Our kinds are called what? Acetylenes. Okay? Please take note of, 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 of all these what names. Okay? All right. So now let us see. Uh, of course, do not forget this tutorial, of course, is brought to you by the O3 Schools Jam CBTs Parties app. It's all you need to succeed in your exam. If you want to succeed, you won't pass with no good. All right, go to Play Store immediately now. There's not there's no time to waste. Start preparing immediately. Download the application and what? Go and blast your jam. Look at our testimonies on the on the app last year. Of course, you see that what explosive testimonies, a lot of 300. So please don't be left out. All right, so let us see. A question from the app. This is a 2007 question, number nine. 2007, number nine. It says here, the hydrocarbon used in the production of styrene, okay, of styrene is A, propyne, B, ethane, C, ethene, D, ethyne. All right, so please, we are going to come back to this question and many more on this O3 School Jam CPT app after the end of the class. So please stay. It's not going to be long. Just watch and what and learn. All right. The app has all the past questions you need, so you don't need to worry about past questions. Ask lecture notes, so you don't need to worry about textbooks. Ask what questions are feature. You can search for questions according to topics, so you can search for uses of arcanes and questions will come out under arcanes. All right. So what is more, we have what the UTME mock challenge. Every Saturday we we'll conduct a mock challenge for you. So different from the jam mock. All right. You get used to what jam questions. All right. You get used to what jam likely exam questions you see your score release every saturday so it helps you to what to track your progress what is more is that what you are what you are what you are getting used to what all these questions and you are building your confidence toward the main exam so please make sure you go to play store download this application immediately and start practicing okay also do not forget to like this video like this video subscribe and keep sharing to your friends and loved ones recommend this channel to your loved ones to your friends to your class group share to whatsapp everywhere so use the support of our kings only things. Number one, they are 18, 18, 18. Most especially what? 18. Arkins. Most especially 18 is used what? In what? In ripening fruits. Okay? Artificially. Okay? 18 is used to ripen fruits artificially. All right, please. Take note of that. It is used to what to ripen fruit artificially. First of all, plants they have what uh gaseous what a tin, okay? They have what a gaseous hormone, okay? A tin is a gaseous hormone that is found in plants. All right, so unripe fruit generally do not have what uh they do not have a tin, but as the as the fruit begins to what to mature, all right, it induces what the production of what of this ethene, which now signals the what the what the fruit to what to start what ripening. So if you now add a tin, okay, if you add a tin, what we call it, ethylene, if you have it, you can now what use to what to ripen your fruit what artificially. All right, so a tin is very useful in ripening fruit. So that's why sometimes you will see that what you see mango. Mango that is not originally what ripen. Okay, they'll pluck out ripe mangoes and what, and you see that oh, it, it is ripe. All right, so a tin is what is useful in that what regard. It's used to what to ripen fruit artificially. Also, number two, um, monochloroethane. Monochloroethane, the one we call what vinyl chloride. Okay. Is a monomer unit, monomer unit of the polymer called what PVC, polyvinyl, polyvinyl what chloride. Okay, and it is very very useful for insulating overhead cables. Okay, it is useful for insulating. It is useful. For insulating overhead cables. All right, so you must take note of that. Monochloroethane, okay, which is called vinyl chloride, is a monomer unit of the polymer PVC. PVC is what polyvinyl chloride. All right, so 
polyvinyl chloride, that is PVC, is a polymer itself. Okay, that is formed from the combination of what? Of a monomer unit called what? Vinyl chloride. All right. So PVC is a polymer. Vinyl chloride is what is a monomer. All right. So, uh, okay. I didn't tell you about polymerization reactions. Alkenes also what undergo what? Polymeriz polymerization what reactions. Okay. This is a general formula for that reaction. NCH2. Okay. Sorry. NCH2. The body to what now? CH2. All right. Then now this to what? So formation of what? Polyethene. Okay. We have what? C, 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 C. All right. Okay, and all right, so this is what this is this this is this H is here H H H H H H H H okay so this is what a thin this is what poly a thin all right so please take note of that this is what the general what reaction okay so this is what a monomer unit this is what a polymer what unit all right that's why I was saying that what that polyvinyl chloride is a what is a polymer what Form from the combination of what of vinyl chloride with monomer. Okay. Also, we also have another one that we we'll call what natural rubber. Natural rubber is what is a polymer unit that is formed from a combination of what the isoprene isoprene monomer. Take note of that. Very important. All right. So, like I said, PVC is a polymer unit formed from the combination of what of vinyl chloride monomer. Natural rubber. Natural rubber, natural rubber. Okay, it's a polymer unit that is formed from a combination of of isoprene what monomer. Also, polyethene. Now, polyethene. Another one is what is polyethene. Okay, which is here now. All right, you say what? It's a polymer unit that is formed from a combination of what of ethene what or ethylene what monomers. So you must take note of what of all this. They are very very important. You must understand them. Okay, so polymerization monomers combines combine to form what polymers. That is what polymerization what reaction. Okay, a monomer will combine together to now form what a polymer. As you can see, this is what NCH two. Don't bother to what to CH2, but here this poly poly polyethylene that is from here is what now is what is N CH2 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 CH2. Okay, so, so that is this is what NCH2 to CH2, given what NCH2 CH2 CH2 CH2. We get it now. So it is this monomer, this ethene is a monomer, but this one is a what is a polymer that has been formed from what from this what monomer. So you must take note of what of that. So now that is what second uses of what of uh, of alkenes monochloroethene that is vinyl chloride is a monomer unit of the polymer PVC which is used or useful for insulating what overhead cables. All right. Let's see another use. Okay. Likewise, polyethene also like we said is a what is a polymer unit of what of the monomer ethene. Okay. Like we have said before, number three, poly. A thin is a monomer. Sorry, it's a polymer, not a monomer, it's a polymer of the what monomer a thin. Okay, and it is it is very very useful. It is useful, it is useful for what for packaging for packaging. For packaging what materials it is useful for packaging materials both industrially industrially and domestically all right please take note of that all right polyethylene is a polymer of the monomer ethene okay and we say that it is useful for packaging what materials both industrially and what and domestic what stickly. Okay, this is what the third word use of what of alkenes. Likewise, number four, vinyl chloride. Vinyl chloride, which I said that what is a what is a monomer of the polymer what PVC. Okay, vinyl chloride is a monomer of the polymer what PVC. It's a source of what you call chloroprene. Is a source of Chloroprene, all right, and polymerization of what chloroprene is what what we call neoprene rubber. 
polymerization of this chloroprene gives what we call what neoprene rubber. Very important. Polymerization, polymerization of chloroprene or chloroprene yeast what to call what neoprene rubber neoprene what rubber all right and of course this neoprene rubber is very 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 useful okay if it's not useful we're not talking about it okay it is very very useful all right it is useful in uh, orthopedic okay in orthopedic braces it is useful for, for electrical insulation it's also useful you see your fan Okay, all those that fan, that fan blade. Okay, it's also useful in what in automotive or fan blade, even the one for your car. The, the one your radiator, the radiator in your car, all right, that fan, all right. So it's also useful for what for automatic or fan what fan blades. Okay, what's more is that what uh neoprene rubber is also useful for laptop sleeves, laptop sleeves. So it, it has a variety of auto fuses. So vinyl chloride is a source of what chloroprene and polymerization of what this chloroprene wants to polymerize uh, polymerize what chloroprene. What you get is what is neoprene what rubber and it has what variety of uses. All right. So let us now see the last use that we are going to what look at and that is what phenyl ethene, phenyl ethene, which is a monomer unit of polystyrene. Okay, number five. Uh, that's number five now. Phenyl Ethene is a monomer unit of polystyrene. Okay, polystyrene. P O L Y S T E R O E N E. Okay, phenyl ethene is a monomer unit of what of polystyrene. Okay, and this word polystyrene, uh, this uh, phenyl ethene, which is a monomer unit of, of polystyrene, is called what styrene. It's called styrene. Styrene butadiene rubber. It's called styrene butadiene rubber. S B R O for short. Okay, S B R O. I'm sure we are done with this. Okay, that is called. It's called what? Styrene. Styrene butadiene rubber. That is what S B R O. All right. So please take note of that. All right. So phenylethylene is a what? Is a monomer unit of what? Of polystyrene, okay, and this money I use of all polystyrene is what is called what styrene butadiene what rubber SBR, and of course this what uh styrene butadiene rubber has variety of what of uses, okay. It's even used for for, for producing car tires, all right. This for producing what car tires, car tires. All right, it's also useful for what for making the sole of your shoe. Okay, even the heel of your conco shoe. Okay, it's very very useful what for what for making what all those. It's also useful for making what automotive what car parts. All right, this for making automotive what car parts. If they were not important, we're not talking about them. All right, and of course the question we saw. All right, which I'm going to look at now. All right, let us go to the OT school jump up. This is a 2007 question number nine. They say the hydrocarbon used in the production of styrene, okay, used in the production of styrene is what? A, they say propyne, B, ethane, C, ethane, D, ethane. Okay, obviously the answer of what is what will be ethane. Okay, it's a monomer unit, okay? So it's a monomer what unit, all right? Then we now have what phenyl ethane is ethane, it's still ethane. We say phenyl ethane is a monomer unit of what? Of polystyrene, which is called styrene what butadiene rubber okay so that styrene okay is used in production the hydrocarbon that is used in production of what of this what uh s the of this styrene will definitely be what be 18 all right so please you must take note of what of that so they are very very important uses of what of our kings if they are not important we will not be discussing them at all all right so please make sure you jump on the application download it and what start practicing your way to success. My name is Master T, aka the Grand Commander of this great O3 Schools Army. All right, be a soldier, keep, keep practicing, keep studying, and keep seeing yourself at the top. See you in the next class where we'll talk about acetylenes, that is what the alkynes. Thank you for watching.